it is time to hunt some dimes. And this time, I actually have something a little more interesting. Some of these rolls have uh, markings on them. And some of them say 1999. This one says 1970. So I'm going to start digging through the first three rolls and see what's inside. It might be a nickel dump, so that's my guess. So I'm hoping maybe I'll find something a little interesting. I don't see anything in this one. Yeah, it's looking like a bunch of uh, nickel dimes, but some of them look, uh, now that I'm dropping them, pretty nice. It's a nice 79, actually. I might keep some of these. Some of these I actually might need. Hmm. Yeah, it's looking like a bunch of, uh, Nickel. Yeah, some of these 79s are actually really nice. So I'm not going to keep every single one of them. Move along from this roll. It's looking like it's going to be a nickel dump. I'm not expecting to find anything crazy, but you never know. What in the heck is that? Yuck. Is that blue paint or something? No idea. I don't think that's a silver dime. No, it's not. C60 something. It says 68. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. I don't see anything else in this one. Yeah, it's looking like to be a bunch of, uh, nickel in these. Which more often or not happens. So I'll put the Americans to the side. And now, I'm really curious if this is even a whole roll of 1970 because I'm seeing more modern ones in these, even though it says 1984. Like, seriously, who's going to collect a whole roll of 1984 dimes? So let's see what's in this one. Yeah, it's looking like modern. Even the other end looks modern. Let's see what's inside. 68. American. Another American. Oh! What is this? Holy! Looks like I got myself a Georgie. Is there any more friends in here? Some other nicer looking dimes. Oh my god, look at that one. It's like all chewed up. Jeez. What's this one? Oh, 1965. Sweet. Second one. Awesome. So it looks like there is something in these rolls. There's a little bit left, so... I'm going to put these away, and then I'll call you guys back in if I happen to find anything more interesting. But we're already a silver sandwich, and I didn't even pay attention because I was like, I'm just going to flop it out. I don't even know if it is or isn't. Sweet. And this one looks like it's been scratched up recently. Seems like a couple rolls I'm actually getting upchanged. And I did find a really nice 1990 uncirculated dime, along with a 97. So it looks like somebody might have had an album, or they might have filled something, so who knows. This one says 1990. I highly doubt it's a full roll of 1990 because the die amenders 
don't resemble a 1990, so let's see what's in this one. Let's see some foreign. I really see anything calling out my name. See a five pence from 1995. Cool, it's always cool finding foreign coins. See some American. I'm only taking out the really, really nice, nice stuff. A bent up one. So let's see if this one was extra. Nope, this one was exactly. So I'll call you guys back in if I happen to find something a little more interesting. So I'm about halfway through in this hunt so far, and I decide to go through this one because it's going to take me a while to re-roll this. And the other bundle that I have is actually from a different bank, so these are the last five rolls from this. And so far I've only found a few nice uh, dimes, most of them were nickel from what I thought, but I did find two silver dimes, which is pretty sweet. Maybe there's something in this one. I don't see anything in this one. There's one that looks like one, but I don't think it is. Nope, just a really beaten up 1980. Let's get this all out of here. Maybe I can find a proof or something. Never find proofs. Like the super frosty ones. I've never seen those. Yeah, some of them aren't looking that nice, so kind of a little weird why people would accumulate that much nickel dimes for no good reason. But anywho, I'll call you guys back in if I happen to find something a little more, you know, persuasive. Next roll in, there's another silver dime. I wonder what it's going to be. 1945. It's a jewelry G. No way. Another one. Sweet. I wonder if there's anything else in this one. Hmm. This one actually has uh, quite a bit of the 2017 commemorative ones. Yeah, actually, I see quite a bit of them in here. Actually, I like these ones. I think I'm going to keep a couple of them. I really like these dimes. I wish they made this one into a colored one. Along with the uh, beaver. But they didn't. They didn't do that with the loony either. Oh, for a second I thought this was the curve 7, but it's not. Um, Else. I'm pretty sure that's about it for this roll. Sweet. So I'll call you guys back in if I happen to find something, you know, more cooler. Calling you back in because this is going to be a little bit of a more longer hunt than normal. I actually did find a 1970 dime. You won't be able to see it, but it is a 1970 dime by the looks of it. I wish I had a super high def camera in order to show you, but I can't. But more or less, it is a 1970 dime, which is pretty sweet. Maybe there's some other ones inside of here. It's a little bit of American, which is cool. There's any other ones? No, oh, that was the only 1971 out of this entire batch, by the looks of it. So I'll call you guys back in if I happen to, you know, find something. 
On to the last roll from this bundle from this bank, and it reads 2002, and it's pretty heavy, so I'm hoping maybe something is hiding inside, and then I'll get on to the other bundle from a different bank. But yeah, three silver dimes and a bunch of coins, too. I'm pretty sure already I'm upchanged. I've already upchanged a dollar, so let's see what's in this last roll. And it looks like it's parting me with some more nickel, like usual. Doesn't mean you can't find something a little bit more interesting. And yeah, that's all she basically wrote, so I'm going to get into the other bundle, and then call you guys back. On to the final roll. There wasn't really much in the other rolls. This one actually did happen to have a Barbados 10 cent coin, so that was pretty cool. And this one actually had another one as an ender, and this one was the heaviest out of all of them, so... Let's see what's in this one. I'm going to assume that it's probably upchanged because of most of the rolls actually were, so. Let's see if there's any parting gifts. And it looks like that's going to be a no, and there's some hair on me, and that's nasty. That's gross. Uh, there's one Barbados coin. Oh, there's another. Looks like there's going to be two Barbados coins in this one. So I'm going to call you guys in for the wrap-up. What another amazing hunt. A dollar ninety in American about a dollar seventy in dimes so I got upchanged quite a bit this time I found a really nice 2017 commemorative dime I really like these dimes pretty cool found a 1999 uncirculated 1997 uncirculated found a 1990 uncirculated a few uh, 79 uncirculated a 74 found a uh, some odd key date 1970 dime which is pretty cool Found three Barbados 10 cent pieces, which is pretty cool. Five pence from the United Kingdom. And most importantly, three silver dimes. One being from 1945, 1952, and a 1963, I mean not 1963, 1965 dime. So yeah, I would say this little hunt was quite magnificent because I wasn't expecting to find much of anything other than just nickel, which for the most part, that's what I was expecting to find. Because most of the rolls said uh, like 68 and up. And then uh, before I did this hunt, I searched through the 68 because I was just a little curious to see if the roll was actually up changed because it was a lot shorter than normal. It was just a whole roll of nickel 68s, so... This is Mao's Coins. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and happy hunting. Have a good one.